Hello everyone, welcome back. Oh goodness, it is, it is really hot today. It's been raining the last couple of days. Had a hurricane not come through where I live in Houston, but it came through Texas and uh, we got a lot of rain. I haven't been riding my bike, it's been a while. But today uh, I already got all the, I went to school or the high school to get lunch already. And so, uh, that's all done. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my ride. Right in the bike. Uh, fact, I, brought, I brought my backpack with me this time. It has all my gear because I'm planning to ride all day. I'm planning to ride all day. And so uh, you're going to maybe enjoy this one. I'm going to test a couple things. I'm going to test out the Flexi Breeze vest because oh, it is real feels like 99 I'm think I think it's like in the uh, 90s lower 90s upper 80s so a little bit cooler but real fill still like a hundred and uh, I'm gonna test out the battery range on this or as much as I can I don't know uh, I'll, I'll just see how it goes and I'm also gonna have uh, I'm also gonna have some fun okay I'm also gonna have some fun so uh, let's get going let's start the battery <laughs> let's turn on the bike all right. Okay. So I don't have to go to uh, school or anything. I just have to uh, uh, ride. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm just going to ride out here. Do something just a, a little bit different here, and uh, we'll get going, okay? All right, let's get going. Hello, Sys 5, Gear 7. Let's see how the... Okay, my rear tire is okay. So, I'm going to be uh, enjoying the ride here. Ooh, nice and sunny. It's not raining. I don't like uh, riding my bike in the rain for uh, a couple reasons. And because uh, the camera equipment's not waterproof. So, can't make a video. But that's, you know, not that I won't ride in the rain. I have. And uh, it's possible, I, you know, I got my poncho in the front basket here. So, not in a hurry today. Okay, just gonna go. All right. So, gonna just have some fun today. That's, that's what I'm gonna do, just have some fun today. And I'm just going to go around my whole neighborhood. I'm going to ride all day. I might even actually come back this way and uh, get a new uh, set of batteries and some new, uh, new uh, ice packet for the Flexi Freeze vest. Man, it is hot. It is hot. The sun is just burning me. But uh, got a timer going on here. Got a timer because I'm gonna watch my time. I gotta realize how much battery life I got on the camera. So I brought multiple uh, cameras so I could switch it out and let's see how long uh, my my ride lasts. Okay, it's giving me a yellow light. That's only if I can uh, safely make a left turn. Yellow blinking left light. All right, all right. So, riding the ride mini today, and uh, just having some fun. Am I gonna be in a hurry? Probably not. 
going to be in a hurry. Uh, but I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, camera uh, making videos. There's a lot of things you can do. I've seen a lot of uh, people riding their electric bikes and starting to make videos of it. I'm really happy to see that. But the most important thing is to have fun and don't let it, it don't let the uh, content creation, quote unquote content creation, ruin your ride. So, so uh, quick tips: uh, stabilization. All right, number one. Stabilization. Number two, okay. Audio. Get rid of that wind noise. Ooh, audio. Wind noise can be so really bad sometimes. All right. And then number three, all right, all right, is quality. Now, quality is number three, or maybe even number four, because uh, most people who watch the these videos, at least my videos, they're, uh, it's like 60% on uh, smartphones. And those screens are small, so you don't have to do 4K. Long as, long as it's good enough to, uh, to provide some content. I think it's good enough is good enough. Because after all, this is YouTube. And uh, oh, this is probably number four. Or actually, I take that back. Number one, number one is have fun. That's the most, enjoy your ride. That's the most important thing. Number two would be stabilization. Number three would be audio. Number four would be quality of the video. 1080p is just fine. It'll work. You don't. I would even argue you don't even have to do 60 frames per second because it takes up a lot of a lot of memory. All my videos, they're all they're 360 videos. They're they're like 10 gigs every half hour. It's like a 10 gig of memory. Then it gets reduced down to like four or three gigs. You know. So. Anyways. That takes up a lot of memory on your computer. Uh, okay, then number five, number five, what you can do if you're not good at, but number five is editing, editing. So, and uh, give you some examples like overlay. You can see the overlay. I'm sure you see some of the overlays that I have. So I got a map. I think, uh, depending on how you're facing a map this way, or a map over here, uh, you got time, date, distance, speed up on top, and uh, you got the speed, depending on how you're facing, over here, or over here, um, of, of uh, just, uh, speed over time speed over time so just a chart of the speed during a certain time so but that's not the only overlay you can do you can do other stuff you can be creative and I'll show you I'll do a little thing I like to do on my drive alongs do a little Star Trek thing ready we're gonna go warp speed Engage! Alright, well, I hope you, you enjoyed some of that light speed, warp speed. That's just an example. You can get creative, you can do other things. I'll uh, try to I try to mix things up here a little bit, but uh, you can make a boring ride into like an amazing time traveling adventure if you know how to do it. All right.
time traveling adventure. All right. So, there you go. So, try to have a lot of fun. Try to have a lot of fun when you're riding your bike. That's what I recommend anyway. It makes a difference when you're having fun versus when you're not having fun. Oh boy. So I'm just gonna ride around today. I got no worries. Uh, I'm not gonna go off-roading because it rained a lot and the grass is wet and the dirt and soil is wet, probably all soggy. And so, uh, to prevent uh, from getting into any accidents or slipping, I'm going to stay mostly on the road. I might do some gravel trail. I'll do gravel trail. I'll do some gravel trail. I'll do some gravel trail. I don't mind doing that. driveway here. I did, uh, oh, they got, they, they put concrete on. Good. I did, uh, finally order the front fork for the Rad, uh, for the Rad Rover. So that's going to come in. I also ordered some new tires for the Rad Mini, this one, this bike. I got the reflective tires. What is that? Something uh, in the middle of the sidewalk here? It's like a dirty rag or something. I'm just taking my time here. Uh, normally I would... Uh, I think about crossing the street, but I know it's not a good idea, so... Uh, Gonna take the gravel. Gonna go, gonna go this way. Gonna go this way. All right. but it's dried. Oh, I gotta watch out for big puddles like this. I could probably go along the grass up this slope here if I have to. I don't want to go into the water if I don't have to because I know I'm gonna slip. If you've been riding long enough you realize uh, wet mud and uh... oh a tree fell down in the middle of the uh the middle of the uh, road. I could, I can't jump it. I wish I could. This bike is just too heavy. Oh, gotta go all the way up here. Well, I, I guess you're not gonna see a lot of bikes out here. Yeah, I got windy. It got windy. It rained a lot. Uh, Hurricane Hannah. Hannah came through uh, South Texas, but we felt the uh, the storm, the rain. What was it going counterclockwise? So it hit Houston. <coughs> There's anticipation of some flooding, but it never really flooded. I think it backed up some of the rivers. All right, I'm just gonna go all over the place. here. Let me go to the 
edge here. Uh, I, I don't go in the water because it slips and if you're going fast and you ride on it and then you lose your traction, you, you'll just fall and you'll just, you know, that's just my opinion, but what do I know? I just, I broke my hand, so what do I know? <laughs> what do I know? I just broke my hand. You know a little th something about falling off your bike, especially over the handlebars. <coughs> Ooh, a little dusty. Allergies, a lot of allergies. I'm gonna go around this way. Walk to the right, a little, little off-roading here. Shaky. All right. So, I'm gonna be on pedal assist five. Or actually, lower it down because I'm gonna be riding all day. I don't need to go that fast. Uh, pedal assist three, gear seven. I am uh, pushing. I am pedaling. Pedaling makes a big difference. In the uh, in your distance, how long you want to travel. Ooh. It is hot warm. Look at this nice new fence. Really nice. It smells fresh. The smell of uh, freshly cut cedar. Go around this way. There we go. So the overall the gravel trail is is okay. It's just some spots pulled up water and you want to avoid those areas. That's my opinion. You can do whatever you want really. Ooh, it is hot. It's hot. Gotta watch out for the flying corner. side of the road. All right. Pedal assist three, gear seven. I'm already down one bar. Maybe because of the heat. I'm not sure. camera went down, which is all right. I got two other cameras. I'll try to save it for later. Maybe it's low on batteries. Ugh. I'm gonna lower my gear here anyway. Let's go gear five, pedal assist three. I'm gonna go to sports complex. Take a little break there. Maybe swap out some of the cameras. Looks like they need to be swapped out now. Okay. It's also hot too. You'll be surprised. Uh, your cameras can uh, overheat in hot weather. And especially if they have a cover. Let's throttle a little bit. Especially if they have a cover, or if you have a covered camera or some kind of cover for it. They can get hot really fast. Looks like the sports complex is open. There's some water in the levee. I would have, I would have thought maybe it would have been more because it did rain quite a bit, very heavy. But 
I guess not that bad. It was very dry as well, so it probably soaked up a lot of the water. Getting a little shade, feel a little breeze, see how it goes. I'll let that, it's kind of breezy out here, so I'm gonna let that breeze cool me down through the Plexi Freeze vest. Oh, I can feel it nice and cool. Just kind of take my time here, a little dip right there. trailing. I'm not going to go in the back. I think it's probably very wet and muddy. I'm going to stay out here where it's uh, relatively dry or drier. I am going to go uh, underneath the patio and cool off that way. Uh, I'm watching my time. It's a little muddy right here. <laughs> <laughs> 